Yeah, so just talk about the difference in the way the game started and then the way you guys played the most better part of three quarters. Yeah, well, also we got ourselves in a hole early with turnovers and then two big plays, two long plays that we mis-executed defensively. And I think our players deserve a lot of credit for you know fighting through all that. But it's not a good formula for trying to win a ball game in Baton Rouge. And uh, you know, preface any comments I make today about our team. LSU is a very good football team. Uh, probably a lot better up front than we anticipated. Uh, and I thought they played extremely well. But again, we were sometimes our own worst enemy. And uh, the, the, the long, the long run on the short yardage play was the one that really hurt because we had a good series, get them in third and two. And, let that thing break through and, and hit out the perimeter. So I just think our kids deserve a lot of credit for fighting back, but it's it really, you know, that put us in a tough, tough situation. Did you change anything scheme-wise? No, well, what mainly what we were, we were playing five defensive linemen in our short yardage package, trying to get bigger people out there, obviously because of their, their uh, personnel. And it, it looked good all week in practice, but frankly, their, their offensive line out executed us. And uh, we had some issues with it that wouldn't feel comfortable, so we got out of it. Second half just went back to some other things we've been doing in short yardage. And uh, didn't play well in short yardage overall. And then when they ran their two tight ends, what we call 22, two backs and two tight ends, we wanted to use that personnel grouping a lot for that also, even when they used it in normal downs and had to get away from that. Uh, I just thought the players, we finally got them settled down on some formations and what was coming off of them, and they just played a little bit better the second half. Got some pressure on the quarterback a little bit better. How much of, was that the plan to really attack and put pressure on a Met Burger? Well, we didn't have a we didn't have a big pressure package. Uh, we tried to mix it up and drop eight and, and bring a little bit of pressure as a mixture. Uh, got a good play out of dropping eight one time and running again in the fourth beginning of the fourth quarter and two guys you know wander out of the coverage in their zone, bust the coverage and we get a 32 yard touchdown. So there was some good things. Uh, there's some good things we can build on, but again, we, we still make some mistakes that are, are self-inflicted with assignments, things that have been covered, and we just got to get more consistent on it. Ellis, there was a player with a tight end down the scene in the fourth quarter, and he was just wide open. What happened on that one? Yeah, we uh, the base coverage, and, and uh, we failed to make the proper adjustment to the trips formation and didn't have it covered. Who had that middle third? Anybody else? Yeah. Go ahead. Anybody uh, after you grade the field have a pretty good game on defense? Uh, McKenzie had a bunch of production. Uh, it's one of those when he was good, he was very, very good. And when he was bad, it was just something, how could you do that? But he had a bunch of tackles. I had him for about five tackles for loss. Uh, had a sack. First time I've seen somebody really get on the edge and make a one-on-one -on -one, uh, pass rush move and make the turn and hit, you know, get the quarterback. But uh, he had some mental errors that were really things that could really be hurtful to us. So I, I don't say he had a great game. He had a very productive game. Uh, thought the corners played extremely well. Each one of them had one bad play in the game that really hurt us. But I thought they held up in coverage for the most part extremely well, especially in man. Didn't, didn't think anybody had any kind of an outstanding game. You believe that I mean, this week, you think well time for you guys considering some of the, like you said, misassignments? Well, it's more than that. We physically are beat up. I mean, we've been through musical chairs on defense and, and still are going through it. I've got guys even that are playing the games, they're practicing one and a half days a week. We've got guys that are missing. Uh, an open day could have helped us earlier, but I, I think it is a very good time for it now. And obviously, the missed assignments and all that, that's something that needs to be corrected.